healing, this would be a spot where you get pickpocketed. She might actually be one up on me, y'all. I'm fighting my eyes right now. What is this? Give me butt. Dang, look at that view. Good morning, Bangkok. Today, my wife and I will explore Bangkok, Thailand in the craziest way possible. First, we're gonna start with a boat tour and see some of the most special temples in all of Bangkok. We even saw one of the tallest Buddha statues in the world. And then we brought Tokyo Drift to Thailand. What's poppin' T-Squad? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Welcome back to another Thailand vlog. Y'all, we're not counting yesterday as our first day in Thailand because we literally just got to our hotel and went to sleep. So today is day one in Bangkok, Thailand. How you feeling today, babe? I'm feeling so good. I'm refreshed. And I'm just ready to get out and about because, you know, we only have so much time here. We're not here for months and weeks. We're only here for a couple days. So I want to get out there. We need to go get some Thai money. Hey, what's it called? <laughs> Thai bat, right? Bat. Thai, we're going to go get some Thai bat and then we're going to start this day all I can promise you guys is it's gonna be an amazing day. It's gonna be a super exciting vlog, so let's get right into wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Before, wait, wait, wait. Go, before we go, what? I learned the new word, okay? What? Yeah, let's hear it. Sawadeya. That's first saying hi to a girl, right? Yeah, Sawade, Sawadeya. And then say hi to a man. How do you say hi to a man? Sawade crap. Sawade crap. Sawadeha. Sawadeha. We're learning stuff already. All right, guys, so we have a whole tour set up, but babe, we could just take one of these instead. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Tuk Tuk. <laughs> we have to do I that. I want to go on one of those. We have to go on one of those that before we leave, That reminds me of when we were in Seattle and we got some kind of ride like that. Yes. It was like the highlight. Like, it was so fun. Facts. <laughs> Need some souvenirs though. We definitely need some souvenirs, but y'all, we're just pulling up to where our tour is gonna be starting from, and it's about to be crazy. All right, here we go, y'all. That's what we've been waiting for. Yep. It's an adventure day, like we told y'all. Yes. This is our boat right here. James Bond boat. Okay. Woo, we made it. <laughs> Let's go. Ready. The water almost comes level with the boat. Look at <laughs> Look at Keisha's face already. I'm a good swimmer though, I got you. All I know is he said James Bond is driving this boat, so. All I know is I haven't seen James Bond crash too often, so we gonna put some trust in him, some some good trust. Guys, check this out right here. This is one of the main attractions today. Sleeping Buddha right there. Buddha never sleep. Oh, Buddha no. never sleep? They have been called the reclining or laying Buddha. Laying Buddha. Buddha. My Sorry. apologies, laying Buddha. The last position before uh, Buddha passed away. Okay. The last position before okay. he died. Wow. And then you guys, to my left right now, <laughs> it, you said this one is 69 meters? Uh, 69 meters is high. 69 oh. meters tall, this golden Buddha right now. Meditation. Meditation position on the other side of these trees. Y'all about to see it. Yo, let me know, have y'all ever seen this many fish in one spot? That's crazy. All right, last one from me. All right, it's time to get off the boat for our first Whoa. stop. <laughs> ah, we made it, y'all. That's kind of crazy going on and off the boat. And now we're going to be going to see a temple, y'all. Our first stop is apparently one of the most special temples in all of Thailand one of the most important that people come to see. So this is gonna be special, y'all. Yep. All right, you guys, we gotta make a quick pit stop before we head back to the hotel. Ooh. 
yeah, the best the best feeling right now is just being in the AC. Right? So yo, we did not know this, but we came to Thailand in their oh. summer. It is their summer right now in April. Why today? Yo, Miami's hot, but this today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like every day is like a hundred degrees or more. So okay. First off, let's see what's going on in the 7-Eleven because you know, every time you go to 7-Eleven in a different country, they have stuff that we don't have back in America. So I'm dying to see what's gonna quench what. <laughs> You're smiling. Wonton with Japanese sauce in a bag. That's crazy. And then you can heat it up in the microwave. That's crazy. What else we got here? Ooh, got some sandwiches. What is that? Salmon sandwich? No, 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 no video. No video? Yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, we're saying how we can't take no more videos. I'm gonna try to get some more for you guys. Why can't we film in 7 Eleven though? Know. We're just trying to promote y'all. Like, come on. Is it, is it me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, got some seaweed, some coconut water, got some ramen. Green Coca Cola, zero sugar. How do you I'm know? About, it's... I'm about to find out what flavor it is. All it says is something flavors. Flavors. <laughs> We're gonna find out. What is that? Mental. It looks like jackfruit. Oh, no, it's squid. It's, squid. it's squid. It's squid. It's squid? Yeah, look at the look at the cartoon. It's a squid. Look yeah, squid seafood snack. Salted ground nuts. What? That's crazy. You guys, this one right here is kind of crazy. Chicken skin. Let me know if y'all eating this in the comments down below. And it matches my Coca-Cola. Should I try it, y'all? I might just have to go for this. All right, guys, so we made it back to the hotel. And it just feels good to be sitting down right now because that heat was something different, y'all. Like, I'm telling you. I told y'all a little bit in 7-Eleven, but just to elaborate, it is different time, different seasons for different times of the year, obviously when you're in different parts of the world. And right now it is literally the hottest part of Thailand. It is summertime right now in Bangkok. So it's like the hottest day in Miami every single day right, right now here in Bangkok. Super hot. So anyways, we're back at a hotel and first thing we had to do was sit down, relax, get some cold water, and now we're eating. And this is our first time getting like real Thai food. Yes. Babe's got the pad Thai. Pad and it's really so good. good. Super good. It's it's so different than what we think we're getting in America. Yeah. The noodles are different. The flavor's a little bit, the flavor's a little bit similar, but. Would you say it's better overall? Yeah, I would say it's better. It's more fresh. I don't know, the noodles are more like chewy, but like not in a bad way. Yeah. The okay. egg is different. I'm about to have some shrimp. I don't know. It's just like, okay, I see what they were trying to do, but this is like, <laughs> it's this the is real it. deal. Exactly. All right. And I got some curry chicken right here. I also got some chili chicken right here, some vegetables. And yeah, we're just vibing on the balcony. Not the balcony. This is like one of the patios Patio. of our hotel. Mm -hmm. Really nice. And yeah, we're getting into it, getting some fuel for the rest of the day because the day ain't over. Not even close. You gotta take a nap. What time did you get up today? I woke up at 1.30. 1.30. Got back to sleep for a little bit, got up at 2.30, then Callie called me and I couldn't sleep again. Dang. I slept good, yo. I slept all the way till 6.30. I went to bed at 9.30, woke up at 6.30. Keish, she's soldiering it right now because she's been up since 2.30, y'all, but she's going to have a nap and tonight it's going to be a movie. We're not even anywhere near done the day. It's about to be a, a super dope night tonight. Several hours later. All right, T-Squad, it is a few hours later. And uh, we're gonna get into these fits right now because you know this is our night to dress up and go eat a fancy dinner. But our before first that, night, our first dinner. Yeah, right? this is the night. Like we might do it again while mm -hmm. we're here, but this, you know, we've been saving these fits and we're about to show you them. But first and foremost, most importantly, Babe got her sleep. You got like two hours. I got two hours. Thank God. Because, you feel back to yourself? Yeah. Honestly, I was trying to get like a few more minutes, but then I'm like, no, no, no. We're going to this beautiful place, so I had to. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> and speaking of beautiful, we're gonna give you the beautiful look first my wife so babe let's see because this outfit is stunning thank you dang yep yeah uh-huh and the way this hold on yo i thought that was the sun hitting the dress that's the dress it is the sun hitting the dress yo hey. that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> and you did a little face beat you did look a little beautiful makeup i don't know why my eye is watering i've doctored this eye like two or three times i hope you guys can't tell nah you look good but my it's eye feels noticeable. like it's still watering right now so i'm just You're like good. crossing my fingers that yeah that's it well, let's show your outfit. Hold on, turn around. Let's see the uh, open back. Oh. Yeah, this part's super, yeah. super fire. Yeah. All right. You know, I unbig right, my bag, so you know I can do a little <laughs> big bag. Yeah. But yeah. So, okay. yo, we gotta talk about this fit quick because, yes. Babe, how long have you been trying to get me into like the? I don't, I don't know what you call it, oversized baggy dress pants. Like, 
Yeah, you guys know fashion changes all the time, and I was reluctant to get into it. I've been trying to get him to get pants like this. Not just, okay, this is a dressier version, but you guys yeah. know how, like, there's a flare pant, the wide leg pant going on. I just feel because of your size, your build, like this style would have looked so nice on you. And I was right. And I'm so glad that you got something like this. <laughs> Turn around. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Like even the length of the shirt, the pants. Mm -hmm. You got the shoes too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I so, love it. I love it. I love it. Thank More you. of this. So I finally Comment down in. below. Yeah. More of this from Trey. Okay. I finally give in. Mm -hmm. But I'm very happy I did because I love this look and I have a few more. Our stylist brought through a few looks and I, I was just like, you know what? It's time yeah. to change and I love it. But yo, if we talk anymore, we're gonna miss this. If you beautiful, talk anymore, we're gonna miss this beautiful <laughs> sunset dinner. We're going somewhere yes, special. We're yo. going somewhere very, very special. I wish I brought dangle earrings. That's what I messed up on when I was packing. But anyways, let's go. I gotta throw on my shoes and we literally need to run out this door right now. We gotta run to the restaurant too. We're gonna work up a sweat. No, I'm not sweating. Alright, we'll get a car. Okay. Well, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we made it to dinner, and... What y'all just saw was not actually our dinner setting. We're sitting there. It's here, but it's just a photo op, y'all. Yeah, it's yeah. it's literally reserved just to take pictures. So we took the pictures, we got some videos. Now there's some live music playing, and some of our food and drinks came. We got some, what is this, Jamaican chicken wings? Jamaican wings chicken wings. And our, our setup is still a vibe. We got still the skyline over here and we got live music. It's oh, it's a big vibe. It's very beautiful. We even have like these flowers above us, private table, um, and now someone's singing and playing music on the other side. So we're about to enjoy our dinner, you guys. We'll continue to show you more food as it comes out. But right now we're going to enjoy our first date night in Bangkok, Thailand. Yes, it's fun. All right, guys. So me and Keisha are even now, y'all, because as we told y'all, she had her little uh, cat nap earlier. <sighs> She might actually be one up on me, y'all. Or I might what? be one up on her. Yeah. Because, okay, I just had a nap right now. I just had a nice one hour nap here at the hotel room. But at dinner, y'all, I have no shame. No shame at all. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I knocked out at the dinner table. I know that sounds terrible, but I was waiting so long for my steak. The food was great, the place was great, but I, they waited a long time, or took a long time to bring my steak. And I told Keish, I literally told her, I'm like, babe, I'm fighting my eyes right now. Yeah. The problem is too, we were sitting on a couch, like we had a private couch and the way it was just inviting me to close my eyes. It was so comfy. So long story short, I knocked out. And babe, did you vlog it? On the on the vlog I camera? I have a, um, a Snapchat. A Snapchat. A Snapchat so video of it. I got no shame, y'all. We're going to run the clip for you. So as you can see, mouth open and everything <laughs> at the dinner table, <laughs> y'all. I got no shame, it is what it is, you know? We're in a whole different country, different time zone. Like right now, just to give you guys an idea how crazy it is, uh, it's 10, 17 p.m. right here, right now, 10, 17 p.m. In Miami, it's 11, 17 a.m. And then obviously the travel time. But anyways, long story short, we got some rest now. We're about to go out. The day is not over, the vlog is not over. This is gonna be the part of the vlog where we get sporadic. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what we're doing. But Thailand and Bangkok apparently have like a crazy nightlife and we're about to go find out. Are we finding out or what? We're finding out once I get this knot out this necklace, babe. Like this is, you gave this to me like a few, maybe like, maybe almost a year ago now. And yeah. I feel so bad. Every time I go to pick it up, it's tangled or something. And I'm like, we're in a rush all the time. So then I don't get to wear it. Yeah. And now it's 10 something and I'm here trying to you want me to help you? again. You want me to help you? Yeah, because I really want to wear it. Also, can we talk about Keisha's outfit? Look how cute these shorts are. <laughs> I'll wait till she's done and we can get a better view, but it's super cute. Yo, you know what's so cute about this outfit, babe? What? It's exactly what Callie would wear. Like, this reminds me. The yes. top, yeah, but like the whole overall swag and the and the shorts and stuff. Yes. It's giving Callie. It's so to see true. you wear it is super cute. When I saw these shorts, because she sent me like her Shein cart and she had shorts like this. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I went to check out, they were sold out. But I found a different pair. Yeah. And she's been wearing them every chance she gets. But... Yeah, I'm definitely channeling a little bit of Cali right now. <laughs> first things first, y'all, we have to get some Thai bots, okay? Because 
every time we try to use US dollar, mm -hmm. they're either, some people take it with no questions asked, but we've had a few scenarios now where they literally think we're scamming. This guy, yo, the last taxi, this guy looked at my $20 bill and he's like, he's, times. He, but first he felt it. He's like, smelt it, like, felt oh, it. No, and he's bot. like, what is this? Give me bot. And I'm like, sir, it's all I have. Please take, I'm like, he didn't know what it was. I'm like, USA, America, US yeah. dollar. He's like, no, he so listen though, but babe, I don't know if you booked it. He called his homie. He called his homie, they were talking about the money. And then after the call, he's like, you give me a whole 20, you keep, I keep 20. I said, yeah, yeah it's yours, it. bro, it's yours. And then he's like, how much? And then we were like, I don't know. It's I like, told him it's 500 bucks. 500 and he's like, bucks. oh, okay, okay, thank you. But <laughs> we almost couldn't get the taxi ride because we didn't have bats. So long story short, we get in the bat. The way I was seeing him inspect the money, I was yeah. just like, he's checking it for the 20th time. Even after you said he could keep it, he still kept checking it. But he legit thought we were scammers. Yes. So we about to get some bots. Yeah. I think um, we should get we should get a fair amount. Nobody wants this. I was gonna say we should just go to an exchange. We They're took all out we have cash. Yeah. They're all closed. Alright, here we go. Alright. Get Thai bot here. <laughs> Okay, so now we got, we got to do some conversion because it's telling us how much we want to pull out. Yo, we can get 30,000 from the ATM okay, right now. Okay, but what, how much is 30,000 in US? Right okay. So 30,000 times 0 0.03. That's $900. Okay, that's So I think much. we'll do 20,000. That's what? Four, no. That's like that's two thirds of that. So that's like 600. It's 600. That'd be good. I don't know. 20,000 baht. Let's see what 20,000 baht looks like. What? That's the fee? Accent? No, it's only two hundred twenty baht. That's only a six dollar fee. That's nothing. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah okay. You're a yes. Mathematician. I'm not following, but okay. I got you. I got you. Love that for you. So listen, a hundred baht. Love that for us because you are the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because babe, a hundred baht is three dollars. Okay. Okay. 30%. So in that sense, okay. Or sorry, it's three percent. Three percent. Yeah. Of a hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars is three baht. Yeah. Two hundred is six. You feel me? All right. Here we go. Thank you. 20,000 baht, let's go. That's what I like about countries where the currency isn't worth as much. You get so much cash. Yeah. I kind of like it. Yeah, that's why you're so excited. Yeah, look. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, Dang. Okay. What, what increments did they give it? A Only thousand? thousand? No, we're going to have to go break this up by the cap. Oh my. Wow. Are we bought an all thousand dollar, thousand baht bills. All right, wow. we're going to have to go to the front desk. I need to max win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're rolling out, and it's not a taxi tonight. It's a toot toot. Let's, so let's go. go. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. All right, see you soon. Thank you. So, what'd you say this is? A toot toot? It's a toot toot. You guys, I can barely get in. They don't make them for my height, for my size. No. But we yeah, we fit. We fit. No. We need some music, though. Yeah. Sorry, do you have music? Accident. No music? Yeah, accident. Accident? Oh, I guess it was an accident, y'all. But we rolling out. Yo, this is way better than the taxi. Yeah. We got the breeze, too? Yeah, we're, we're getting around. We're moving. Point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's between a car and it's between a car and a taxi. Yeah. We're moving. Yeah. And y'all, he said the music doesn't work because of an accident. I wonder what happened. But we don't need no music. Maybe because the music was too loud that they couldn't hear. Oh. Oh, we're, okay. we're smeagling too. We're maneuvering. We're maneuvering. Oh, we're passing everybody right now, y'all. Yeah. Karaoke? Oh, it's a vibe. Everyone's outside tonight. I love we got it. the street food. Big vibes. <laughs> survived the Tokyo drift of Bangkok, Thailand, y'all. That took to ride was no joke. I think that was, yo, that was the most fun I had since we've been yes, here, though. Yes, yes. Like, it was like a little bit of a thrill, but also like, I don't know, it was, it was really fun. But anyways, we are at the Jod Market now, um, and we're about to see what's up. They got all kinds of shops, food, they got these drinks, um, snacks, Shopping. I need a diet coke or a diet Pepsi. I don't know why no, my body my something. body's telling me I need it. I don't know why. 
get something more traditional like get something like coconut water or I don't know just something that we can try there's a lot of street food here as well I'm bored both Diet Coke and Thailand right? <laughs> the real reason we came here is because I forgot a flat iron for my hair so I need either a flat iron or a curling iron but I don't know if I'm gonna find it here, but we'll see what we find. You guys, this is crazy. I was literally thinking as we walked in here, no disrespect to the culture of where we are. We love this place. But as soon as we got here, I felt like this was a pickpocket type of place. I zipped up my pockets, cause I'm like, I just have a feeling this would be a spot where you get pickpocketed. It just looks and feels like it. And then sure enough, I come across this sign. Beware. Bosejo Trichi, a pickpocket. <laughs> Y'all, if you didn't know, Keisha is the GOAT at all voiceovers and all accents. Like, in a different life, y'all, she was definitely the biggest, best voiceover star in the world. And, yo, it's not too late, actually. You could still do it. Hit them with that again. <laughs> yeah, so that means, like, watch out for the pickpocket. In, in what language? I think it's Italian. In Italian, that means watch out for the pickpocket. But we on alert, y'all. We good. Don't worry. Oh, I'm here vlogging. We're missing all the cool stuff. We okay, got nice clothes. With Look, those with the elephant. Those are vibe. Is that for men pants. and women? There's one for men and one for women. All right, that's kind of a vibe. You think they got double XL? Yeah. They got double XL? Oh, they, they got the shorts too. That's what I just said. Okay, y'all, we copying some of these. We're supporting the locals right now. I'm getting a pair of these. Oh, that's a vibe. You getting that? Yeah, get it for her. And then we need one for Kira too. Kira probably want the lollipop one. You grabbing that? Yo, isn't this the Balenciaga bag right there? Gee, look at the shirt. Yo. Oh. <laughs> yes. Excuse me, how much for these shorts? Uh, 200. 200, is it for men too or just women? Unisex. Unisex? Yeah, the, the pants too or the pants are for women? Huh? The pants too? Same. Men and women? Unisex. Unisex. All right, I think the shorts will look good on me. Let me know what y'all think. I'm grabbing these. You have XL, double XL? One size fits all. One size fits all? All right, babe, she said one size fits all. It looks like it might fit. Yeah, it looks pretty, yeah. Like and the string is too. the string is pulled tight to stay on the hanger, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think, it, I think it's good. Like that color? Yeah. All right, and I'm going to get some of these. Hope I can fit in my suitcase. Shoot. I think we need to buy another suitcase. <laughs> Alright guys, that was the most fun ever, but we made it back to the hotel and we both got super hungry. We looked at all the restaurants in the hotel, they were all closed, so we ordered some room service. But this room service looks super good. Y'all, let me know what you guys think. We got a whole lot of, that's all y'all know, we're really craving right now. We got a whole lot of food. But I, I honestly think we're gonna eat it all. I think so. And Keish keeps getting this for dessert. This is mango sticky rice. I'm y'all know I'm on my carb free stuff right now, so I'm not really gonna have none of that, but mmm, everything looking good, y'all. Super good. I think we ordered enough food for five people. But I'm as hungry as five people, so it's all good. Listen, the reason why I did that is because sometimes you may not like it and you don't want to wait another 30 minutes. So you just get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And with this low carb diet I'm on, I get hungry super fast. So I'll probably finish and then eat again in 30 minutes. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, please. You can have my fries. I got, y'all think I'm joking though? Y'all see me, if you if you guys missed it, you see me um, change the bread on the airplane, I'm about to do the same thing. I'm taking We're not doing that regular that. bread, huh? I'm gonna take one. You're taking my sandwich. Mm -hmm. Gluten free bread in the fridge. If y'all think I'm playing, I'm so serious. I'm switching out the sandwich to my bread. I think they get it by now, though. Okay. Yeah, but I still gotta show them in case they missed that vlog. Okay. All right. All right. And I told you guys, I was craving a Diet Coke or a Diet Pepsi. There's no way I was gonna let the night go without getting this right here. You know what? What? You said you were thirsty, and you keep saying, no matter how much water you drink, you don't feel like your thirst is being quenched. So I told him that you need Gatorade or you need some kind of salt because the water is not like penetrating your body. He goes, no, I think I need a Diet Coke. That's just what no my body is, you, that's what my body's no telling me. No why you're so though. thirsty. No, but I've been drinking water all day. My body's just telling me I needed this. Like, you know when your body's speaking to you, it's literally telling you what you need? You told me that no matter what, you're still thirsty. But, there you go. Until I have this, I know this is gonna do it. I could just feel my body, 
it's more than just like a craving for the taste. My body was telling me this what mm -hmm. I needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell yourself that, baby. <laughs> All right, T Squad, we're gonna do a roll call of who's a real one right now. Let let us know. Do you guys mix mayo and ketchup with fries? I'm not, was... I'm not eating the fries right now, but if I was, I'd be doing the exact same thing. Like, if you know, you know. Let us know in the comments. Is this something you do? And sometimes we'll even pour one in the other. That's what like, the say. whole thing. If I was going to have the whole fries, I would have just mixed it, but this is my last one. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get big back on baking. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me want some fries right now. <laughs> we need to stop. The next day. All right, T-Squad, it is the next morning in the vlog, but it is also the end of the vlog. That is a wrap of our day one in Bangkok. Make sure y'all go subscribe because day two is coming. And if y'all thought that we uh, did something crazy in this vlog, wait till you see the next Thailand vlogs. We got so much in store for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you want the squad, you ain't popping. And we'll see y'all in the next video.